make cauliflower hash browns. Hope you're doing okay this morning or evening or wherever you, or whenever you're watching it. Um, so these are going to be spicy cauliflower hash browns. I'm going to bring them up a kick from the normal recipe. You know, I love my potatoes. I eat potatoes daily. <laughs> but um, I wanted to try these with cauliflower because cauliflower is even healthier and it's a vegetable and it's just healthier and I wanted to try it with cauliflower. So I blended me up some cauliflower in my uh, food processor and I'm using frozen cauliflower today, which is probably not the best because it has a little bit more water than usual. So we're gonna need a couple tablespoons of cornstarch. Let me get a spoon. So I'm gonna do one. I'm going to put all the measurements at the bottom. It's about three tablespoons of cornstarch so far. I did two big heaping tablespoons of cornstarch to keep everything together. Then I'm going to add some nutritional yeast. And then I'm going to add some onion powder. Now you could grate fresh onions with this and it would be even better, but I didn't. So I'm going to put some onion powder. I get <laughs> a whole lot of onion powder. And for some kick, I've got some cayenne pepper. And I've got some chili powder, just for a kick. And then this is some dash seasoning. So these are kind of spicy, so that's why I'm adding in more spicy seasoning. Excuse me, I'm gonna add in some sea salt. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in our garbanzo bean flour after we mix all this together. I like to add some pepper to this too. This is a spicy, smoky type cauliflower hash brown. Add that together and then you want your chickpea flour. You want to be able to take these, yeah, you want to be able to take them in your hand and make nice hash browns. in this and that will work too. I'm just going to add in a little bit of herbs. And then I've got a optional ingredient that I'm going to add to some of the coffee. So I've got, I've got a plant-based sausage patty here that I'm going to crumble up and add to some of them, but you don't have to do that. So what you want to do is take them, take your grease baking sheet or either um, non-stick and you just want to make like little hash browns shape them into little hash browns. You can do them bigger, smaller, medium, whatever you want. So this is a really quick recipe. Doesn't take a long time, especially if you already grate your cauliflower. And I'm excited about trying your normal hash browns you know, especially the ones they sell, I don't know, fast food places, they're soaked in oil, but these are a lot healthier in that we, we have not soaked them with oil. Um, you might need a little bit of oil in the pan or brush a little bit of oil on them if you're okay with a little bit, um, but you don't have to. And that's still small in comparison to drenching them in oil the way they do with the fast food places, which is just not necessary, but they don't seem to know that. It's like the more oil and salt they can put in it, the better it's going to taste to people, the more addictive it's going to be, and people are going to be running through the lines ordering more hash browns. When you take something healthy like a potato, all of a sudden it's not so healthy anymore once you drench it with oil right? and salt and additives. for 30 minutes at 400 degrees.
time to taste test. Now I turned them up at the end to like 500 just so they would get completely crisp and brown since we didn't really use any oil. Um, but let's go ahead and taste this. Mmm. I could smell it in the oven. I knew it was going to be good. Some ketchup. Mmm. You have got to try this. It is so good. I hope you will try this recipe. It's so healthy, so yummy. And yeah, I have no more words. If you like this video, uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, if you want to. And I will see you guys later. Bye bye.